what's the concept of the Jewish Messiah? So when we look at the world, we see a lot of physical objects. Sometimes we see situations that don't really make sense to us. Sometimes when we look throughout history, and we follow different events that have happened, we question, why did this all take place? I have no idea what's going on over here. When Mashiach comes, when the Messiah comes, everything will be clear. The world will have reached its pinnacle. What does that mean? Not that the world is going to be a different place or it's going to look different, but the way in which we understand it is going to be second to none. The way completely trans a way that completely transcends the way in which we view reality now. Imagine you have a painting on the wall and you have a cow looking at the painting and you have an art professor who studied Van Gogh for 50 years teaching about Van Gogh's paintings for 50 years. So they're both looking at the exact same painting. The cow sees the swirls and the colors and processes it. Okay, these are swirls and colors. But the art professor, he can tell based on the brush strokes, based on the color usage, exactly what Van Gogh was trying to convey. That is the difference between the world as we have it now and the world when Mashiach comes. Not that it's going to look different, maybe not even feel very different at the beginning, but our perception of it, our appreciation of it, is going to be like the art professor looking at the Van Gogh painting. That we will look at the world and we will see the signature, we will see how the creator, how the artist himself, how God himself put himself into creation. Creation will reveal the artist which constructed it, the artist which painted it. In other faiths, the Messiah is a quasi-deity. He's either God himself or partnered with God or a, a part that, that there's something divine about the, the Messiah figure. In our tradition, based on Tanakh and based on the uh, oral tradition that explains exactly what our prophecies mean, the Messiah is a human being, born of human parents, descendant of King David, who restores the Torah and restores uh, Judaism to its ultimate state. And the way in which that's facilitated is that the Jewish people come back to Israel. That's their, their land. Uh, that Torah is able to be observed in the fullest because of that. The temple is rebuilt once more and sacrifices can be offered. And all of the details of how the Torah describes how life is meant to be will be able to come to it, their fruition. The Messiah is just the figure that is the king, the, the leader, that initiates this, that, that guides this process in unfolding. He's not a deity. He's not, he's not supernatural. Nothing spooky about it. He's a great leader, descendant of King David, who helps the world recognize its key purpose and recognize that the world is a divine place that was created for a purpose and enables us to see how everything in the world is a part of God's plan.